We give you greetings today in the wonderful, most wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, what a joy to know him as a personal living Savior. Hallelujah. Can you say amen, Marge? Amen, amen, amen. Well, you can see today that uh, we are not Walter and Nina Zagrevich, who are founders of this ministry that is reaching through all the platforms the whole world. And uh, only in several languages. It's too bad <laughs> that everyone cannot speak English. And that would make it possible that everyone could possibly hear the message. And what is the message? Well, let's first I'll let you know that God loves you. Second, that he wants to be involved in your life and home and family. He wants to be a personal savior. And it is the, his desire to bless you, to strengthen you, and to make you flow with the blessings of God. But before we get into many things, I'd like you to help us spread the message to millions of people. And if you will take your instrument that you're watching even now, or like most <clears throat> are looking like the platform uh, that we're sharing for ourselves that goes along with all the other platforms that are uh, sharing this from even YouTube will have it. And uh, take your phone. Well, I'm trying to, uh, there it is. And uh, you can see the phone I have, and sometimes it gives me difficulty, but I can get onto the platform I'm watching. And if you're watching, say, uh, Facebook, and or you're tuned to that, just go to Facebook, and already you can take your finger and uh, whatever you want to use, and all you have to do is touch share once. At least this is what I have to do. I touch it once. And then as it connects, I, I hit it a second time so that every one of my friends can see this. And if they want to spread it, they all, all they have to do is hit that share button and I'm placing my my phone over there and it's copying everything, sending it out so that others like yourself can be blessed. And that is the purpose. When Walter and Nina Zagrevich uh, decided to found uh, this and uh, type part of their ministry, they got other parts of their ministry, uh, sharing the gospel this way in English, in Spanish, in Portuguese, in Russian, in Ukrainian. Uh, those are some of the languages that uh, this broadcast is going out. And it's it's been a blessing. All the wonderful things that are coming in. But uh, it seems there's more requests. But God is moving by his spirit and power. For, and then there are those that we're grieving about. As many of you know that Marge lost her sister a couple, about two weeks ago now, getting close to it. And we had just visited her. her and I told on the other, the other day, I've heard... Uh, the prayer language by people that pray. And it, I, I have heard it so beautiful, and but never had I heard it as we prayed uh, with um, Evelyn Tarrant uh, from Kelowna, 
British Columbia. And we, it was so sweet. I stopped and I was listening for a while as we prayed together that last evening we were with her and we were with her for five days. She had said she wasn't going to die until she saw her sister, Marge, and uh, myself. And uh, we left her and, and drove 600 miles uh, back to Edmonton, Alberta, uh, Canada, and we get a call that she had passed away that day. And they wanted me to come and march and do the, do the uh, funeral. And we had done, and her husband, a wonderful man, uh, we really loved him also. And he had died 10 years before. And we had the funeral, along with my brother-in-law, Bill Kisinowski. Uh, we did the funeral. And what a time that was. And I, I remember one of the leaders was, uh, in Canada at that time, he said to me, he said, I've been in over 500 funerals, but I have never been in one like that. Well, I'm telling you the presence of the Lord at that grave site as, as uh, we shared. And, and I know it was very difficult for me to, to lead this and 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 bury my sister-in-law because she was like my sister that it, it was difficult but yet i know the joy of the lord that she's with jesus but then yesterday from missionary evangelist michelle uh i saw i got a i got a text that her brother the Heinsoffs, the wonderful people of God that did took care of our uh, radio broadcasts years ago uh, in Africa. We used to broadcast all over Africa. And then they started following it up by going to Africa. Um, Brother Heinsoff and, and uh, the, uh, their daughter, Michelle, and some of the other members of the family, members of the church, uh, started to go over to Malawi and and share the gospel themselves, and uh, uh, and we got word that Mark uh, that he was in an accident and a uh, vehicle accident, and he's with Jesus. And I, and when I watched these kids, five of them, four daughters and the son Mark. As I watched, and Marge and I watched them grow up, we could see the hand of God on, on their lives. And, and here uh, you have Martha. Uh, she's in full-time ministry. She was, uh, for years, the youngest. She had, was the youngest one who went to um, Japan. We, we helped get her there. And uh, Michelle, uh, her sister, different part, doing missionary events, a lot of it in Russia and Ukraine, that part of the world, even learned the language. Both, both those young ladies learned the language. Japanese, which is not easy, Russian and, and Ukrainian is not easy either, even the alphabet is different. But they lost Mark, but, but I, I tell you this, it, he, he doesn't want to come back if he could. I know he loves his family. Uh, but he's now with the giver of life himself, the Lord Jesus Christ. And even though I saw the hand of God on him and on the hand of life as the little kids grew up, uh, God's hand called them on. So there are people, yet we, we're natural and the natural, we, 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 we do grieve. But our, we are not like those that have no hope. We know that we're going to see them again at the feet of Jesus, let it be, or wherever it is, Jesus will be there. Praise the Lord. But we pray for all those that are suffering grief. Marge, I think, would you lead us first? And then you have a, a scripture yes. that, and that I'm going to elaborate on, on something very simple, and yet 
uh, I'm sure that uh, Walter and Nina Zagravich will be pleased that on on the broadcast that we two are hosting uh, together uh, for a global vision, reaching out to Nepal, to uh, to uh, Cuba, to Mexico, to uh, <laughs> different parts of the world. Uh, am I, did I say Ukraine? Especially Ukraine. Yeah. And, and, and various countries. And uh, what a wonderful ministry they have. And uh, we, we love and appreciate them and kind of the privilege to fill in as hosts and uh, share the gospel and interview uh, different ones on here, uh, like Daryl Peregrine and Gyro Dorendo and uh, Marcy Babogi and uh, Dean. Uh, Turner. Turner and and some of these I know so close and then of course Albert Ramirez and, and others and all men and women of God anointed one the Bible says know them that labor among you praise the name of the Lord but um, there's a couple there's one humorous thing I want to share with you in just a moment but first uh, Marge you pray and then uh, share that because uh, that'll help, help me with my of what I want to share with you. Yes, praise the Lord. Well, we greet you this morning in the well afternoon for us, but morning for the West area, and it's it's uh, our time now uh, is after one o'clock in the afternoon. But we would like to pray especially for the Heimsoft family uh, and and those that are bereaved all well, over. Oh, There's many people, many requests of people that uh, are sorrowing, and we want to pray for them. Marge, so, before you pray, uh, yeah. uh, include in them the thousands that they don't even know, the thousands of North Africa. Yeah. You know, years ago, uh, how we ministered there, and, and it wasn't easy. I was, I was even chased with uh, uh, one, a Muslim with, uh, with machete. a machete yeah. because I dared to. Uh, approach him with a uh, gospel track that's years ago that was in morocco yes. no algeria algeria yeah. yes heavenly father we come to you in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ and truly lord we have a great god yes. who has compassionate oh, on his children oh, who is compassionate oh, and loves his children and you know we know that you love your church the body of Christ and Father. Many are suffering today, such as our dear friends, the Heimsoft family, Father, the, the wife and the children, and the sisters and their husbands, and of course the parents, Mike and Linda. We pray for them right now, Father, that your Holy Spirit will minister to yeah. them. Father, in Jesus' name, we send the word to them, yes. the comfort of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, as he, he, Mark, is in your arms, Lord. Father, we pray in Jesus' name that you will just minister to this family, yes. minister, Lord, to Michelle, to uh, Martha and her husband, Jonathan, Lord, to yes. Missy and her husband, and Lord, to Lynette and her husband and their families. Yes. Father, in Jesus' name, we just pray, Father, the comfort of the Holy Spirit will be with them, Lord. And Father, just minister to them, knowing their brother, their son, is in the presence of God, worshiping you in, in his home now that you have prepared for us. He is in his heavenly home. Father, we pray in Jesus' name that you will just minister to them. Father, we know that in the presence of the Lord, they are being comforted, Lord, uh, here in the, in the states and in all the, the friends and, and the church there. Father, in Jesus' name there in Indiana, minister to their families, Father, in Jesus' name we pray. And Lord, we think of my sister Evelyn's friends. We think of her family. Rick, her, her sons, Rick and Dwayne, and their families who are mourning. Father, we just pray, Father, that you will minister to them. 
lift them up, Lord, knowing their mother, their friend, Evelyn, is with Jesus. She is where you have prepared the home for her, her eternal home, and where one day we will go to join them and be with them. Father, just minister to them and comfort them, knowing they are, these ones are with Jesus and all others, Lord, that are being, uh, having bereavement, Lord, and are sorrowing in Jesus' name. We just ask you to minister to them all. Father, wherever they are, and those that, Lord, are on their sick beds, perhaps, Lord, perhaps, Lord it is the time for them to go. Lord, we pray for the, your hand upon them, and we know you're healing, and you're, we're sending out your word to them to heal those broken hearts. So heal them in Jesus' name. And Father, we would bring those that have lost people in the, in the earthquakes and in the storms, Father, in North Africa, Lord, Morocco, and Algiers, and all those areas in North Africa. Father, we pray for them to know Jesus Christ. We remember ministering to those people, passing out literature, giving them the word of God. And Lord, many would receive them, but many would not too. Lord, in Jesus' name, we send the word to them. Lord, comfort them. And Lord, let them know that God is on the throne and that God sent his son to die for them. That, Lord, you love them so much that you gave your only begotten son to die for them. So, Lord, we ask you to minister to them there in those parts of the world. Lord, where people are suffering in other parts, Lord, with, with floods and other and fires. Father, we send your word to those to comfort those that have lost their loved ones. Father, we send your word to the nations of the world. Lord, that you would minister to them right now in the precious name of Jesus and that they would find the comfort they need in you, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name and for your glory. Amen. And Lord, we, uh, we ourselves have been touched many times with a loved one going on. And Lord, what a difference it makes when we know that they know you. Yes, and that they're yes. in a better place. But Lord, we pray for the multitudes around the world, Lord, that may be suffering, that do not know Christ. Uh, and uh, Lord, we just pray that they would somehow come and even use this uh, broadcast as an instrument, as a help where they might surrender. Lord, you see the people that pray with us at this time. And Lord, I ask in Jesus' name, that Lord, you might just move by your spirit and power and Lord, uh, bring many to yourself, send miracles. And Lord, the greatest miracle is the salvation of the soul that brings the angels uh, to attention uh, and with rejoicing uh, when even one repents. Uh, and Lord, but we're asking for thousands, we're asking for millions. Uh, a Lord uh, that would come to know you uh, this day in Jesus' name, in Jesus' precious name. And this we ask, and as we pray, we know our Heavenly Father, Abba Father, our Daddy in Heaven, hallelujah. You would have us to be close to you. You yes, care for Lord. us, Lord, yes, Lord. Uh, more than in we Jesus care for ourselves. Name. You in care. Jesus and Lord, we pray Lord, for all Lord, these Jesus. and those that are sick and afflicted. Uh, and let them look to you, Lord, uh, for the answer. Oh, but yes, with those Lord. that are sick yes, with alcoholism, yes, with yes, drug addiction, yes, uh, Lord, uh, uh, with all the other things them, that are taking family, place uh, uh, in Lord, Jesus' in name. Jesus and Lord, and we thank oh, you for the places, uh, Lord, uh, of revival breaking yes, out. Lord, I haven't found a, a yes. more on it, but we even hear that in oh. Auburn, not far away from uh, uh, where we are uh, broadcasting this today, uh, Lord, we hear that the youth are, are doing having a revival where thousands gathered uh, even yesterday or the day before. 
and Lord being baptized and preaching, university surrendering students, uh, yes, university Lord. students, yes. Lord. Uh, oh, we oh, thank you. And, and Lord, we don't know much about it, but Lord, oh, if they're Lord. coming to you, yes, how we praise Lord. you and thank yes, you Lord. in Jesus, Jesus name. Lord. Hey, Amen. Uh, would you just raise your hands wherever yes, you are, if it's possible, yes, and say, thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank, thank you, you Jesus. for what you've done, thank what you're you, doing, thank what you, you're Lord. yet going to thank do. You, in Jesus', Jesus name, name. Yes, amen Lord. and amen. amen. We may not be able to hear you praising the Lord, but God yes, hears Lord. you. Oh, yes, he does. Yes, uh, March. Lord. Yes, Lord. I'd like to read a portion of scripture from Philemon. And chapter 3, and verse starting at verse 1. And this is a portion uh, Paul wrote to Philemon. And uh, he this letter, and the letters of Paul, many times he greeted them. And when he greeted them, he also said, I continue to pray for you yeah. in his epistles. But reading from Philemon chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our dear friend and fellow worker, I also, also to Aphia and our, our Aphia, our sister, and Archippus, our fellow work soldier, and to the church that meets in your home, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I always thank my God as I remember you in my prayers. This is the, Paul, the Apostle Paul writing that he remembers them in his prayers. And when he wrote these epistles, he always talks about mentioning them in, and mentioning them in his prayers. He talks about it in Romans. He talks about it in Philippians, in 1 Thessalonians. And First Timothy, he talks about including, he includes a section of thanksgiving always, but then he always talks about prayer and the grace and peace be multiplied to them. I just thank God for these epistles. Don't you, Tony, yeah. that the Apostle Paul wrote over half of the New Testament yeah. that we have today. And he often assured the recipients of the letters that he was writing he assured them of his prayers for them he said i always thank my god and i remember you in my prayers night and day i constantly remember you in my prayers he wow. said to timothy and then he said to the church in rome he remembered them in prayer constantly and at all times and so when the holy spirit prompts us to pray for others we need to obey the Lord because there is a need there. Usually when God lays someone on our hearts, it's because he wants us to pray for them, for that specific individual. And, and uh, I think of Samuel in 1 Samuel 12 and 23, he made a statement he, to the children of Israel after they had chosen Saul as their king. He said, you have chosen him. But he said, God forbid that I should, should not sin in praying for you. He said, God forbid that I should, should sin in not praying for you. And so I, this scripture comes indelibly on my mind when I'm praying for people. God forbid that as God lays them on my heart, that I would not be praying for them. So today, as God lays people on your heart, as we pray together, that you will also agree for that one or that group you are praying for. God forbid that I should not sin in praying for you. That was the prophet Samuel, the prophet that said, I want to keep praying for you. And what a man of God, he was a servant of God. And he prayed and Paul also prayed without ceasing. And he tells us to pray and continually for these. Amen. Amen. Well, we do want to pray. We know out there, oh, many of you are praying right now. And we trust that you're praying for Walter and Nina Zagrevich. You know, this is their 40th uh, year of anniversary. 
uh, week. And uh, I, we trust you're getting a few days rest and not just preaching and uh, uh, ministering. Uh, we know they're uh, uh, down in Latin America. Uh, I don't know which one, which country they are in, because we haven't been in close contact like we normally are. He asked us if uh, before they left uh, to, if we'd be willing to host and help and so forth. And uh, we were very, we're very glad to do that. Found it an honor to share with you. Yeah. And while they're celebrating 40th, well, yesterday on if you're hearing this live right now, uh, yesterday I had put in fa on Facebook that it was 61 one years that uh, I met Marge. And I didn't marry her. We got I, we got uh, I don't know maybe a couple hundred uh, uh, <laughs> congratulations the anniversary. Well, we weren't married. I just met her. And uh, it was the anniversary of our meeting. Yeah, of our meeting, yeah, anniversary of our meeting. Yeah, well, that's 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 right, Marge. And uh, we, uh, uh, I sold her a Osborne T. Osborne book because I was uh, setting up the uh, the Vancouver Crusade at that time. And uh, and I, I'm not very slow, I guess. I uh, I thought this is a spiritual young lady, and uh, she had just told me uh well we, I, I started com, com, talking with her and she had just graduated uh from three year uh, a three-year bible college three and uh uh and had a calling in the ministry well anyways i inquired uh some things about her and uh the next day which would be 61 years today uh i called her up and uh, said, would you like to go out and have some dinner with me? I was going to take her to, to supper. And, uh, and she uh, thought, well, uh, uh, she said, I I'll, I'll let you know. I'll pray about it. And so she prayed about it. And uh, she ha really had something else to do, but she didn't do it. But it, it was canceled. And so she agreed. And, of course, uh, I... Uh, I I never took uh, many girls to uh, or young ladies out uh, to eat, maybe a hot dog, but I took her to a Italian restaurant and she ordered some uh, uh, ravioli. raviolis. And I'm looking at the menu and uh, I, I think it, it was around 50 cents at that time. Uh, with spaghetti and, and meatballs, that was the cheapest thing. And so uh, I ate, I had a good appetite, I ate everything, but she didn't eat everything on hers. She left a few raviolis. Now, I I was thinking, well, what would she think if I went and asked her for the ones she was leaving? I could have ate her half of uh, raviolis too, but I I was a gentleman. I didn't, I didn't ask for it. But anyways, <laughs> that was 61 years ago today uh, that uh, we went out on our first date, I guess. And uh, we used to meet and uh, I, I had a rallies at different churches uh, every night. And well, anyways, two and a half months later, I remember uh, that great day where we got married and when I met at meetings in Williams Lake. And the past, pastor, we we had, we were engaged, and uh, we were going to be married later in England. Uh, and uh, the pastor says, "Well, why wait? Uh, you can be married uh, uh, this week. We'll 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 do it before you leave." And uh, I thought, "Well, okay." And I didn't even have a chance to call my folks to let them know that uh, I was getting married. On, was it on a Wednesday? Uh, a Tuesday. A Tuesday. Okay, this was Sunday and Tuesday. We were going to get married. So anyways, uh, there's some other things. We had to go to back to Vancouver, 350 miles away. Steve Fado, who became even my best man, uh, he, 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 he did the driving back there. He got the license in the, in the city, came back. 
And uh, the church miraculously put on, uh, a, 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 she was loved by, by her church there, uh, the PA Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada Church. And there, uh, after the marriage, Evelyn and her husband, Ed, uh, took me to the airport in Vancouver. And uh, I got to kiss my w wife goodbye. And, um, and that, well, I wasn't going to see her for a couple months. But when my mother heard, because uh, I was passing back through Pennsylvania and uh, uh, to the farm there, and uh, she was upset, of course, at first. Well, she, did, she didn't even know I was getting married. And, uh, and my dad, I remember, said, uh, well, lots of people get married. So <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, in a few weeks uh, before I left for England uh, to proceed some crusades there for T.O. Osborne, setting him up. And, and every night I, I have rally at different churches and so forth and trying to get workers to work and help winning souls. But uh, anyways, Marge flew, flew out. I picked her up, drove up to uh, Toronto airport, picked her up, and a couple of days later, we flew to England, and that's where we spent our first year. And uh, that's where she uh, worked to get to get her uh, visa. That, so My that, resident visa for, yeah, for the United yes. States which you had for, like, they called it a green card. I don't know if they still do. Uh, and, and it wasn't even green. Driving into London around those spaghetti yeah. roads yeah. and getting going but, to the but, embassy there. But, but anyways, that, happened, that, that wedding, and that's our true anniversary, was the 20th of no. November, 1962. Yeah. So we didn't have a two and a half month courtship. But uh, God, it, it evidently worked because it, we're going to have our 61st anniversary there coming up in November. And uh, uh, I, I, I appreciate, love my wife. And, and I, I, I know a lot, of, a lot of people, great prayer warriors. And I know three of the best and uh, that really t pray, spend time with God. And I'm glad my wife is one of the top three uh, that I know. Uh, two are in Japan, and one is uh, here with me, and I appreciate that. So you folks that thought we got married yesterday, 61 years ago, no, that's when I had met her. And uh, uh, well, and it's I guess it's 61 years today. I missed out on the raviolis. <laughs> <laughs> well, we trust that uh, if Walter and Nina are having a, a few days rest during this uh, week of uh, 40th anniversary, we just pray for them. And uh, uh, Marge, would you lead us in yes. prayer to bless them in their ministry? Certainly. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are on the throne and you, your care and love is over everyone that is listening today. Father, I pray in Jesus' name for Brother Walter and Sister Nina. I ask for protection over them wherever Amen. where they are. And Father, I just pray the anointing of the Holy Ghost will continue to abide over them yes. and in them and within them, Lord. I pray for the anointing. I pray for a greater anointing in their lives, and Lord, the blessing of God. Father, I pray in Jesus' name for health and strength and the wisdom of God, and Lord, continue to use them for the glory of God. Lord, I pray for protection, and as they travel, and as they travel back to United States, Lord, I pray for the blessing of God, and I pray, Father, your continued guidance in their ministry, Lord, to be led of the Spirit of God. And Lord, wherever you call them and send them, they'll be obedient. I know they are, Lord. They are obeying you in their calling, Lord. And Father, the many they have helped in these nations, Lord, 
in Jesus' name, the nations they have been in. And Father, we think of Ukraine and Russia, those ministries, Lord, to them, to the people in helping provide their needs, helping the pastors, assisting them in food and items that they need. Father, in Jesus' name, and even assisting in some of the uh, heating and electricity and things that are needed, Lord, and even can candles <clears throat> and all these things, Lord, we thank you. You are supplying and you are using them to help supply these needs. And we pray, Lord, for us who are able to help, we will continue to help them, assist them, in providing for these needs. We ask this in the precious name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for the ones they have reached. Lord, we pray for them uh, in all these nations, in Asia and in, in Europe, Eastern Europe. Lord, all of these nations, we ask you to bless them and continue to use them for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. <laughs> I want to add uh, that today is supposed to be a uh, Spanish broadcast, <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, Walter's not here, and uh, uh, nosotros no hablamos muy bueno, muy bien en uh, español. Uh, we don't speak Spanish that way. We understand, but uh, we, we don't talk so good, but I can give a little testimony. Would you translate it in English? Yes, Mark? yes. Uh, hermanos, uh, hermanas, uh, tengo un gran gozo en mi corazón. Brothers and sisters, I have great joy in my heart. Porque tengo Cristo Be en mi corazón. Because I have Jesus in my heart. No hay otro salvador. There is no other no, savior. Uh, no hay otro sanador. There is no other healer. Jesus Cristo is sino para There me. is no one like Jesus for me. Si usted tiene Cristo en su corazón, if you have Jesus in your heart, tú puede diga, Gracias a Dios. you can say, thank God. Ponga su mano arriba. Raise your hand upwards. Y diga, gracias. And say, thank you. Gracias, mi Señor. Thank you, my Lord. In the, nombre de In the Jesus name Jesus. of Jesus Christ. So we could struggle through a little bit like that. But I think we'll wait for Walter to come. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And they'll be back this coming week. Now, I want to share something with you that is very important. Do you remember there in the 11th chapter of Luke where it tells us the disciples, they had been watching Jesus. They had seen him do many wonders. They had seen him from walking on the water. They seen him even change water into wine at the wedding. But they also saw the sick healed Ball, and even the dead raised. Uh, I hear uh, uh, the, his good friend Lazarus had been raised from the dead. The little girl that had died was raised from the dead. Uh, and they had seen these things. Uh, and they came to him and they said to him, to him, they said to the Lord, Lord, teach us to pray. Well, do you know they were it's, it isn't exactly put out, but it's inferred. They were saying, Lord, teach us to pray the way that you pray. Why were they asking? Well, when Jesus prayed, they were not just words, but they were words of faith. And they, when Jesus prayed, things happened. And of course, Marge and I, I may be old fashioned, but we do our, do, do, we have our own prayer time, but we both together have devotions in the morning together and devotions at night when we go to bed. And in the morning, uh, there, there's two old prayers that we pray that it's known by so many multitudes. And the first one, of course, 
and is and it is the one that Jesus uh, told the disciples to pray. He he didn't just say pray in a repetition, but he was giving them a pattern yeah. on how to pray. And 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 and, and the and the and the, you you know what it is. We pray, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses or uh, as I like to say more so, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever, amen. Now, uh, with just a little difference, whether you're Roman Catholic or uh, you may add, not add that last part, or, or if you are, of course, uh, a non-Catholic and you're a believer, uh, then you, of course, put uh, of the kingdom and power and glory forever, amen. But uh, what I want to point out is that even though this is a prayer that we can memorize and quote, yet it is more a pattern of how to pray. And and and, and what I love, well, it, it would take a, a week uh, in teaching, but there are just a couple of thoughts I'd like to give you that might be a blessing to you. The how to pray. Jesus said, uh, when you pray, pray, my, thy father, uh, he, he, the prayer should be directed to our father, Abba Father. It's like a close relationship because if you're going to pray like Jesus, you have to have a relationship with God. In other words, you have to be what Jesus told Nicodemus in the third chapter of John. Uh, ye must be born again, born not of the flesh, but of the spirit, because you and I, because of Adam, uh, every one of us have been born in a state of sin that needs redemption. Just like oh, Adam he surrendered his power and authority and all God had given him, all for a price of an apple. And Eve did the same thing. And they lost their authority and power because Satan was there to rob it. And if you are ever going to regain what God has provided for us, then you have to learn to have a personal relationship with God. There's one of my books that I wrote many years ago, and I guess if I would write it again, I would change a few things. But basically, it's Lord Teach Us to Pray. That's that's the name of the book, and and it's been translated in. A number of languages. As a matter of fact, uh, in one, one country, in Slovenia, many years ago, uh, even under communism, it became a number one seller. They couldn't, uh, and, and they it, they permitted to be sold in the Christian uh, bookstores. The few that they had that provided Bibles under Tito, uh, who was a dictator of the of of uh, not only Slovenia, but all of Yugoslavia, all the provinces. And and uh, Lord teaches to pray. And, and of course, the first thing, if you're going to ever pray like Jesus prayed and see things happen, you have to have that relationship with your heavenly father. You have to know him as a personal, personal heavenly father to you. Uh, that relationship takes place when you open your 
part in life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because do you realize what happens to you spiritually? It may not ha happen physically. You may feel joy and all that. But what happens to you when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, when, and then this is the way God becomes your heavenly father. He becomes Abba Father. He becomes like our daddy. And that's what God wants. He wants that relationship with you. He wants to be your loving father. And, and, and when you receive Jesus, what happens is you're born again. Amen. The, the, his precious blood washes your sins away. He writes your name in the book of life. And what is the book of life? It is a book of those who have repented. And he gives us a new name and glory. Hallelujah. You may be proud of your name. Uh, I, I'm happy with uh, the name I have. My father, uh, Abram. I'm an Abram. Actually, I'm in our bloodline. I'm the last one. There's no one else uh, in our family by, with that name. But, oh my, what is more important is having that new name. And it happens when you receive Christ. So the first thing, if you're going to pray, ever pray like Jesus prayed, you have to have a personal relationship. And that comes by receiving Christ. I've mm -hmm. seen under Walter's ministry and him working with us in his youth, because I, I guess I was his mentor for 17, for seven years. And we've worked off and on together over the years since then. And we're involved together now uh, and uh, in his ministry. And uh, that, that, that happened when he had become a believer. I had become a believer. We have become part of the family of God. And, and I wanna to say to you, as we've seen them come to the Lord under Walter's ministry and our own ministry, the many thousands that have come to know. I've never had anyone. I think I made this remark with Albert yesterday uh, uh, as I was interviewing him and uh, sharing with him that that when we, when, we, when we come to the Lord Jesus Christ, when we come to know him, Hallelujah. We're never sorry. I've never met a sorry. No one ever come up to me and say, hey, the day that Christ came into my life, it was a sorry day. No one. I met a lot of sorry looking Christians that haven't put Christ, God first in their life. But they're first. You're going to pray like Jesus prayed. You've got to know the Father. Yeah. And you can only come to the Father by Jesus. Okay, um, let's let's just hurry with a second thought. Uh, first, you got to know God as your heavenly Father, one who loves you. Second, you've got it, it, it is Jesus taught him to know the authority of His name. Our Father, which lives in heaven, hallowed, holy, hallowed be Thy name, and that His name. Oh, he wants us to uh, have that relationship where we call him Abba Father, our Father, uh, our Daddy in heaven. I like that. And of course, I like Abba Father too. It comes by, it comes by knowing Jesus and how holy his name how powerful is his name? Yeah. How the demons run from that name. Because Satan is afraid of that name. If Because I don't have time. But let me just jump ahead a little bit. And I'll come back. Maybe we'll get a third point in here. But I'd like to jump ahead there to where uh, deliver us from evil. Actually. Uh, it sh it should be translated uh, not not this evil, 
but the evil one. Because all evil really comes from the devil. The one who lied to our first parents, God created our Adam and Eve. He, the liar, is the evil one, and evil proceeds from him. It's not just a, a atmosphere of evil. He is the evil one. It comes from him. And, uh, and so when we learn the power of the name of Jesus, not only can we be delivered from evil, we can be delivered from the devil himself. You remember when Jesus was tempted, uh, whether it was in the Garden of Gethsemane, whether it was when he prayed and fasted for 40 days, 40 nights, Jesus refers to as him. And so he is defeated when we come to Christ, defeated in our life. Even though Jesus told us in John 10.10, 10, a thief, which is the devil, that evil one, comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus says, I have come. Hallelujah. Amen. I have come. Uh, and he has come to deliver us from evil, the evil one. I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. And so when we approach our heavenly father, hallowed be the, our father, which lives in heaven, hallowed be holy is your name. Power is in your name. That authority in your name has been given to the church, even in the commission. What do you hear him saying? In my name, all oh, the Mark 16 commission. Well, that's so powerful. He says, in my name, you shall cast out demon. You cast out that evil one. Hallelujah. That's the first thing he puts up there. Uh, we don't have to wait to till uh, when we, after we receive Christ, we don't have to wait for years and years to have authority over the devil. And immediately, he said, in my name, you shall cast out. It was the first thing he listed. He said, in my name, you will speak with new languages. In my name, you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. There's authority in that name. That name is holy. Holy is his name. And, he, and that's how we can learn to pray the way Jesus prayed. And Jesus, when he prayed in the garden, he prayed to the, his heavenly father also. Hallelujah. So our father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And then... Thy kingdom come. And there's a lot of things we could talk about the kingdom. Uh, but that, that's where we're living in now when we're in Christ. And that's uh, where we're going to be going uh, for eternity in his kingdom. But, that, but we're praying now that his kingdom would come to this earth. Yes. But it's actually already in this earth. You're that earthly tabernacle. You're that earthly vessel. The kingdom of God is within you when you receive Christ. Oh, friends, as, teach me to pray, they said to Jesus, because things happen. You want things to happen? It's going to happen. In a moment, I'm going to lead us in prayer. And I want to, and at the end of it, I want to ask you that want to receive Christ to repeat a prayer of repentance so that the kingdom of God can come in you. 
Now, Sister Marge will re repeat after me that one. But first, I want to pray uh, for the need that keep coming in. I mean, uh, we could start naming them like Betty and Kenny and, 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 and Dave. Dave, and we go yes. on and on. The requests, there's so many, but God knows. Even if we skip it, just like uh, Ed Coren yesterday, he, uh, we we saw him, and uh, he uh, has a number that uh, he's concerned about. Even his daughter uh, getting married in two weeks, and and uh, he gave some certain prayer requests, and to pray for this missionary and several others and requests come in. They're not just with sickness. There's a lot of them, are, I guess about half of them are for salvation of the family. And I'm glad for that scripture in, in Acts, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you and your, your house, your family would be saved. So we're going to pray right now. And if you're sick in body, we're going to pray uh, for that first. And then we're going to bind the devil. And then we're going to lead people to Christ. Are you ready? It can happen today. That prayer of Jesus that he began taught. We only covered very little, very little. Uh, I'd like to have it for 12 hours with you. Uh, but... Uh, we, we only gave it about 12, 15 minutes. So close your eyes. If you're sick, lay your hand where you suffer. If you can't, if you can't, lay your hand on your heart. And the, oh, yes, there is anointing because there are many beginning to pray with us now and in the future. It doesn't matter in the time. The time, there is no such thing as time with God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Heavenly Father, we come to you. You see the many, Lord, that are laying their hands on their heart or on their child or on their loved one. And Father, Abba Father, oh, our Heavenly Father, as we come before you, not in our own strength or ability, but in the name that is above every name, the name that one day every knee is going to bow and bend and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to your glory, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we pray for healing from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. Lord, whether it be a cancer or whether it be a Parkinson's disease or a kidney infection or, or a heart condition or whatever the problem is, whether it's a baby, whether it's a teenager, a middle-aged or an old person, Lord, there's nothing impossible with you. We send the word of healing, healing, Lord. Heal those eyes, those ears those tongues, yes, those throats, yes, that yes, thyroid, that, yes, that sugar diabetes, yes, uh, Lord, yes, that yes, those cancers, yes, uh, yes, those skin yes, cancers, yes, uh, my God, that arthritis yes, melts, yes, uh, even the teeth be healed, yes, uh, Lord. Yes, uh, oh, Father, in the name yes, of yes, Jesus, yes, uh, even creative miracles, yes, uh, we send the word, the word of healing in Jesus' name. He sent his word and he healed them and delivered them from destruction. Lord, you see those that are trying to understand that really don't speak English, but they're trying to understand. Lord, let them know that God, you love them. And Lord, heal them, save them in the name of Jesus. And then Lord, we pray for the nations. Lord, we pray for the leaders of the nations. 
We pray for U.S. We pray for Canada. We pray for uh, Mexico, Central America, and Lord. We pray for all the nations uh, in South America, from Bra Brazil with the por uh, Portugal sp Portuguese speaking, uh, Lord, uh, to the Spanish speakers uh, from Argentina to Venezuela, Lord, uh, across the the south to the north. Uh, then we pray for those in Africa, Lord. Uh, from South Africa across, the, uh, you see the suffering all the way up the uh, western coast, uh, Lord, uh, with the floods, uh, and then uh, North Africa. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name, uh, you see the suffering there. And then, Lord, for those in Asia, Lord, uh, from from Madagascar Island off Africa all the way up, Lord. Uh, to Borneo, uh, Lord, to the Philippines, uh, to Japan, to, to the islands there, Lord, uh, to Korea, Lord, uh, my father uh, in China, Vietnam, and the Co uh, Lord, uh, uh, we pray for all those nations, uh, Taiwan, Lord. Uh, and we Thailand, uh, India, Nepal, Lord, uh, uh, all the uh, Arab countries, Lord, uh, and for Israel, and Lord, do we pray for uh, Eastern Europe, Western Europe, uh, the islands of the sea, uh, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. You see how backslidden Europe is, uh, and Lord, I pray for them. Uh, and now, Lord, we bring it to a personal uh, relationship. You see those, Lord, that, that need to know Jesus. Uh, they need to know their Heavenly Father. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, undertake it for them. Uh, undertake in the name of Jesus. Uh, we send the word of salvation. Uh, and folks, you that want to know Jesus, want to be able to pray like Jesus prayed. You need to be born again. And that'll happen as you call for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And to as many, to as many as come to him, he doesn't turn them away. So you can come right now. Yes. Pray this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I come to you. I come to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I thank you for what you've done. I thank you for what you've you done. You went to the cross. You went to the cross. You carried my sins. You carried my sins. You shed your blood for me. You shed your blood for you me. You died for me. You died for me. But because you died for me. But because you died and for me. And rose again from the dead. And rose again from the because dead. Because you live. Because because you I live, can live also. I can live also. I ask you, Lord. I ask you, Lord, to forgive my sins. To forgive my sins. To write my name in the book of life. To write my name in the oh, book of Lord, life. Oh Lord, help me. Oh Lord, help me. To run the race. To run the race. To keep the faith. To keep the faith. To live for you. To live for you. I confess my sins. I confess my sins. And with your help. And with your help. I'm going to live for you. I'm going to live for I'm you. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow in you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. To live for you. To live for you. And if I slip. And if I slip. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. To get up to get up and to live for you to live for you in jesus name in jesus name i confess i confess not only my sins not only my sins which i believe are being forgiven which i believe is being forgiven i confess that jesus christ i confess that jesus christ is lord is lord lord of my spirit lord of my spirit lord of my mind lord of my mind lord of my body lord of my body and with your help, and with your help i'm going to live for you i'm going to live for you thank you jesus. thank you jesus and if you meant that just raise your hands and praise the lord and if you meant it just raise your hands
praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Two, three Thank things every Lord. day. Thank you, Lord. Two, three things every day. Marge, would you tell them to do? Yes, do these three things every day. What are they? Yes, read the word of the Lord. Grow in the Lord. Read the promises of God and start it. If you haven't read the Bible, start at St. John, because that's the book that tells us that we must be born again. And we must be born again of the spirit of God. And God wants you to know that you have Jesus Christ as your savior. Then continue to talk to the Lord. Let him talk to you through his word. You talk to him in prayer. And every day, thank him for what he is doing for you and how he's helping you to live for him. It doesn't have to be a long prayer, just a prayer of thanks to God. And then also, also share your testimony. Find a good church where you can uh, be fed by the word of God and then share your testimony with others in Amen. Jesus' name. Thank you, Sister Marge, and do that. And let us hear from you. Uh, we were a little longer than we were supposed to be. But uh, anyways, I, I felt the anointing of the Lord on this whole show. And remember to pray for Walter Nina and Global Vision. And yes. uh, we look forward to them being back here next week. I believe uh, I'm, I'm going to be host one more time next week. And uh I probably might have an interview with a special guest that you'll see it. And remember uh, that uh, like Walter and, and Nina say, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, yesterday today, today, and, and forever. forever. And Marge and I say that uh, we love you, but God, God loves, loves you, you more. more. Praise the Lord.